In this video, we will create a Revit structural model of an existing 10 stories project. Then we will export it to robot structural analysis software. We will learn how to perform analysis in robot. We will also export Revit model to eTabs. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. First of all, open structural analysis default template in Revit. Link of a default structural analysis template is attached in the description below. We will be using US Imperial Measurement System for this 10 stories building project. When we open any elevation, we can see dimensions in feet. Now open level one. We will link an AutoCAD file of the building foundation here. Link of column layout plan and framing plan is attached in the description below. Go to insert ribbon and then click on CAD link. Select base AutoCAD file and click open. Grids and columns of existing project building have been inserted as CAD link. We will use these grids and columns to make Revit model. Now let's move elevation markers near CAD link. Make selection window to select all elevation markers. Now drag them to move around CAD link. Now open elevation view. Here we have two levels. We will adjust height to 11.5 feet. Click on upper level and write 11.5. Now we will add more levels. Go to structure ribbon and click on levels. Now click on pick lines button and write 11.5 in offset option. When we click on level line, we get new level on the upper side of arrow. We will create 11 levels for our 10 stories building. Now open level one to strat drawing grids. To draw grids, go to structure ribbon and click on grids. Click on pick lines button from draw options. Now we will pick grid lines of the CAD link. Revit will automatically start drawing new grids numbers. For each grid line, we will complete grids in vertical direction. For horizontal direction, we will pick line and rename it alphabetically. Now we will start making grids as we did in vertical direction. Click on grids and pick lines button. Pick lines of CAD link to make grids in horizontal direction. Our grids are ready. Now we will start making columns. We have written column marks and made blow up plan for column dimensions in CAD link. Click on column and from properties panel, select concrete rectangular columns. Click on any column and click edit type. Now click on duplicate. Write name C1 18 inch by 24 inch. Now change B to 18 inch and H to 24 inch in dimensions area. Now press OK. Our C1 column have been created. Similarly, we will make few more columns as shown in CAD link file. We have defined all the column sections. Now let's start drawing these columns. Click on column button. Now choose height from option bar. Select level to as top level. Now click on at grids button. We will choose horizontal and vertical grids on which we want to draw column. When we press finish button columns will be created in Revit. Similarly, we will draw all the columns at the grids as shown in the CAD link file. We can rotate the column by selecting them and then pressing spacebar to change angle. All the column have been drawn on the center lines of the grids. We will adjust few more columns by rotating them. Now our columns are ready. Let's start creating shear walls. Click on wall button. And then from properties panel, click on edit type and then duplicate. Write name as SW12. 
Press OK button and now click on Edit Next to Structure to change thickness to 12 inches. Wall is defined now choose Height from Options bar and Level to as top constraint. Now we will draw this wall from grid 5 to 6. Our wall is created. Now we will make three more walls. Now let's open 3D view to see how our structure looks in 3D view. This is wireframe view of columns and walls. We can change the view to realistic. Our columns and walls are ready now let's open level 2. To start drawing beams, we will insert CAD link in level 2 to see how beams are required. From insert ribbon click on CAD link and choose framing CAD file. To insert framing plan. This is the framing plan we want to create in Revit. We will draw beams between columns. And this is the typical section of beams. We will define a beam of 9 inch width and 24 inch depth. Click on Beam. And from Properties panel choose Concrete Rectangular Beam. Now click on Edit Type and then click on Duplicate button. Type in name B9 inch by 24 inch. Press OK and now change B to 9 inch and H to 24 inch. And press OK. Now we will start drawing beams. By selecting the center lines of the columns. Click on center of first column and keep drawing the beam. By clicking on the centers of columns. We will draw all the external beams. By keep clicking on centers of columns. This is the 3D view of the structure we created so far. Now we will create all the internal beams. As shown in the framing plan we attached as CAD link. All the beams have been created. Now we will open level to and draw slab. Click on floor and choose generic 12 inch floor. And click Edit Type and then click on Duplicate. Write name as 6 and press OK button. Now click on Edit Next to Structure. Put 6 inch in thickness and press OK twice. Now choose Line option to draw slab edges. And click on the center of the columns. We will choose all the external columns to make external boundary of slab. When we press finish button, our slab will be completed. Click yes to do attach wall at bottom of slab. Now let's see how our structure looks in 3D view. Now we will create opening in the floor as shown in the framing plan. Click on slab and press edit boundary button. We will draw a rectangle to make opening. Now press finish button to see the opening. Similarly, we will draw two more openings. Now our structure is ready. We will hide analytical view by clicking this button. Now make a selection around all the objects and press filter button. Here we will choose floors, columns, walls, and framings. Now click on copy to clipboard button. Then click on paste drop down button. Click on Align to Selected Levels option. We will paste our selection on levels 3 to 11. Now press OK button. We can see that our 10-story structure has been created. Now we will use this model to create ETAPS model for analysis. We will also create robot structural analysis model. And then we will compare the results of both softwares. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we will create ETABS model and perform analysis.
Please subscribe our channel to watch more interesting videos.